Hello. Today we're going to look at the desktop in Kali Linux. Um, Kali is the hacking distribution of Linux. We log in as root automatically in Kali. Uh, if you don't know the root username and password, it is root and tor. It's the username and password for Kali. And once you get in, we have the modified system that is made to work with root. So it's made to actually work with your session logged in as root. Now, if you're brand new to Linux, there are two basic accounts we're going to look at. One's a root account, and the other will be a user account. Uh, Kali is only running under the system account here, so it's running under the system account. You can create users inside the Kali system, and it is a little strange, but you can do that. And a user counts, they can sudo or they can su uh, switch user. They can super user do or they can su switch user to root. So you can sudo over or sudo-s to uh, get a shell as, uh, as root. But we are logged in as the root account, which is default in Kali. So we'll be walking through the menus here as root. So let's get started. Up here, desktop introduction, desktop menus. What are the desktop menus? Well, here, this is our desktop. So if you're looking at my, uh, my distribution or my modification of their delightful distribution, they have a great distro. If you want to go download it from Kali, uh, I've modified it just a little bit to service the needs of our lab, but it is very similar to the, the downloadable ISO that you can get from Kali. So desktop menus, applications up here. If you click on apps, we have places, which are you know uh, folders, devices on your computer, and even the network. And then up here, I've got LeafPad open, which is like gedit. So I've got LeafPad open, and we can see that it's running. That's LeafPad down there. There's, there's a little dot next to it, so you can see that it's running there. And up at top, you can see the icon, and next to LeafPad, you can see it's running there. I can click that menu, and I got a choice for quit. Or of course, I can click the X there, and it'll, it'll terminate it right there. Next, let's go over and click into one of the applications. So. Favorites, these are your favorite applications. You'll see these on the left-hand side of the screen there. Information gathering, these are some applications that you would use to gather information on a network or a system. Vulnerability analysis, etc. You can look down through those right there. And if we look down here, we have uh, usual applications. And in usual applications, we'll expand that out. Accessories, electronics, graphics, ham radio, internet, office, other. And uh, let's scroll on down here. And then programming, sound, video, sundry, different sundries. In this case, just printer settings. System tools, we can click this little arrow. If you see that arrow there, we can click that triangle. It'll expand that. And let me grab this bar over here and scroll down. We can look at administration, preferences, universal access, utilities, and that'll be it. So I'm going to go ahead and get out of this. I'll just click over on the desktop here, and it disappears. If I click back, Everything is compressed back up there. It's not expanded. It's, uh, what is it called when it's not expanded? Whatever it is. Uh, all these right here are back where they were. And that's their application menu. Places will, uh, of course, go there. In my home folder, I can click on here and go to documents where you see my little desktop introduction. Um, what do I got? I've got my video I'm making right now. We have, uh, what do we have in our pictures? There's the wallpaper. And do I have anything else in here? I've got my VirtualBox directory. Go in there. You can see my little VirtualBox just for this lab. Over on the left-hand side of the screen, now we're in a file manager. So this file manager we just clicked into. I'm going to click out of it again. We'll go back into it. I got to it from Places and Home. You don't have to go to Places and Home to open this menu. Notice I just grabbed this gray area and I can drag it around. When I do, my favorite list over here disappears. So I'm going to close that. We can look over in the left-hand side of the screen, and we see this Files folder. So if we click that, that's a single click, just one click, and it opens up. It looks very similar. So click up here, Home. There we have this. Or we click over here, Files, and it's already there. So Files opens up. And also, on the desktop here, we have our home folder. On the desktop, we have to double click or click open, whichever. We can right click, choose open, or we can double click. There you go. 
changing the configuration of Kali depends on what you want to change, but there are some settings down here for showing applications, and there's a tweaking tool there that you can pop into to change some settings there. I'm going to look at the sound settings here for changing the configuration, and I'll show you a way to get to the configuration options pretty easily. I'm going to click on my mic, the little speaker icon here, you see my speaker and my microphone, and a couple of settings there for wired and proxy and my user account. And right there, we see this configuration icon. Click on the configuration icon, and you see this nice little configuration menu. It looks a little Mac OS X-esque, so it kind of uh, gives you that feel to it. I click on something like sound, inside of sound, I can set my input levels. For instance, if you can't hear me right now, or if my volume is a little low, I could increase my microphone volume there, make it a little louder. Uh, sound effects, applications, etc. Uh, there's output. So if I want to go back, click this arrow, and I've got access to all these things. If I want to change my mouse, click on the mouse icon there, and we've got the primary button, left, right, pointer speed, etc. I can go back, and we can just go through any menu we want. And so anything you see here that you would like to modify, then this is where you do it. Uh, now, once again, this is Kali Linux. This is made for penetration testing. It's made for vulnerability analysis. It's made for hacking. It's not made for desktop usage. Uh, so you are missing a lot of the settings that you would normally see inside of Linux Mint, um, where you can control of a lot of the details. But that's really not why we're using Kali. We're not using Kali to, as a desktop replacement. We're using Kali as a hacking tool. Uh, Linux Mint, once again, is a great desktop replacement. Kali is a great hacking tool. And I am running this off a USB stick, and I'll show you why in the next video. So system, date and time, pop in there. We have automatic date and time. It'll go online and pull it down. Uh, we have our time zone, etc. I'm, yeah, I'm over here in Abu Dhabi right now, so that's, uh, we're using the Dubai time zone there. Uh, Muscat works too, if you want to use that. Time format, 24 hours, we can change that. Uh, up here, it's already given me the day, um, so we get Sunday, uh, 24 January, and it's 0924. So that works just fine for me. That's it. So a bunch of these settings. You can look through those settings. This is only meant as an absolute introduction video to how to get around the system. Background, change the background. There you go. You can change the background. You can change the lock screen. You can click on those and change those. There we close that right there. Finding Windows, uh, let's say you are missing, you started some applications and you don't know where they are. So we're gonna start some applications now. We're gonna start a web browser and start a terminal. So we're gonna click on our web browser and we see Ice Weasel has now replaced my leaf pad icon up there. If I click on this area arrow, I can choose quit. Or up there, it's like, where did my leaf pad go? Well, if I wanna find my Windows, a really fast, easy way to do it, so I take my mouse, if you see it there on the screen, I'm going to hit the upper left-hand corner of the screen. I'm just gonna slam my mouse in the upper left-hand corner and you'll see my leaf pad, my little gedit type document here. Slam it up there again and I've got my browser. So I've got those. I can also move the browser to a disk, different desktop. So I can grab this, drag it over here and put it on a different desktop. These are four desktops that I have, and now I'm using two of them. Click on LeafPad, back over, hit the upper left-hand corner of the screen, and I can choose my des desktops. So there we go. Now I'm gonna start another up here. We see LeafPad on this desktop. I'm gonna start Terminal. And my little icon at top is gone again. LeafPad's disappeared, and uh, so I don't. it looks like I can't control it. We can see it behind, right there, Ruta Kelly. We can see it behind here. Uh, but where is, there it is, leaf pad. So you're gonna see that when we manipulate the windows, the windows are gonna change per desktop at the top of the screen there. We can move these around. So if you want to move this to a different desktop, remember you go to the upper left-hand corner with your mouse. You just push your mouse up there. And when you do that, you can move this to a different desktop. You don't need to, it's not required. Or you can move it back if you want to. Just drag it back over. I'm just dragging and dropping for these right here. Now the last part is, well, you can see it behind my window there, my starting a web browser, starting a terminal, and installing an application. 
over here, we'll install an application. And I'll also look at configuration first, because I see that everything I type is in white. And oh, and I've got a, hear that? I don't know if you can hear that in the menu there. It's making a little terminal bell. And oh my goodness, what is more annoying than that terminal bell? So we want to turn that thing off right away. But I also want to change the profile, and I want to change it to uh, use green. So I'm, oh, I should walk you through that. Let's over here. Click. I went to file. I mean, I'm sorry. I went to edit preferences or profile preferences. Inside of profile preferences, I'm going to uncheck the terminal bell. Um, I can change my font size, so I can make a custom font, and I use that for class. I increase my font size, and then we'll go to colors, and I'm going to choose green on black. So I've got the green on black there. Scrolling should be in unlimited, and I have not limited scroll back, so it will just keep scrolling. That's good. Uh, that way I can keep going up to see what I did. And then there's transparent background. That's fine. I normally don't use a transparent background, but that's the way it comes, so I'll leave it like that. And so we'll choose close. There we go. So we've got our green now. So we've got our black and our green, and then over here it shows who we are, and the name of the system that we're logged into. So this system is called Kali. Let's install a quick application. We'll do an app get install and we'll get HTOP. Now I've already installed HTOP, but if you want to go ahead and install HTOP, you type apt get install HTOP. Some people uh, you may have seen online have typed sudo here, and that is if you are a regular user, you will need to super user do and uh, run it that way. Uh, you can also, on uh, some other videos you may have seen, su dash, that kind of thing done, where su dash means switch user, and if you don't specify a user, then it will switch you to user ID null, user ID zero, which is root. And so the su is switch user, and sudo is super user do. We don't need either of those here because we are logged in as root. So I would type that there and we can see HTOP is already at its newest version. We're now working inside the terminal. So we went from the desktop to the terminal and we can install applications from the terminal. It's really easy to install an application from the terminal. And we can start applications that, well in this case, it is terminal based so it runs in the CLI, but we can start other applications that do not run from the terminal or that are not CLI based. We can also start those from the terminal. So I'm going to start HTOP. When I start that, we can see what's using my CPU. So we can see the four cores I've got there and what is going on in each core. And we can see my memory out of my possible 3792. I'm using 753. And you can see that there's a lot more reserved over there. Swap, zero, and that's good. I don't want to be using any swap. Down here, it says F10 to quit. I can also press Q to quit. And so I'll just press the letter Q and that quit. That is it. So we've done the uh, intro to the desktop, and I hope that this helps you see how to get around Kali so you can see how to use the applications and, and just how to maneuver on the desktop. Hope everything's going well for everybody, and I hope this video helped out. Take care.